Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 60-something of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Looks like Detail wants to talk again. Hey, this is his old carriage. So, apparently he's put it back together and all these employees are kind of having a party. Yep. That's what Aurora says. Back to her regular. Ah. So, although we crushed his carriage and all, and it slowed him down a little bit, he's all back to normal with his shopping and stuff. Hey, sorry again. Fia, don't worry about it. I mean, we paid him back after a fashion. Well, that's not something that Avaro should be saying. But it's true that she shouldn't worry about it. And that she, he's been properly repaid. If you're going to be agreeing with me, don't just snap at me for saying it. Heh. <laughs> Apparently, he just likes teasing Avaro. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Sounds like Deet is leaving and Fia is sad. So, this is getting at the point. She says his workshop doesn't stay in one place, right? And that's true. His work is accepting requests and traveling from town to town. So, slowly getting the point. Since the carriage is fixed, he's going to return to his old, old work, right? So, yes, of course it's fixed. And he's already sent it to a nearby village. You didn't notice? No, oh, wait. He's received a request from a nearby village. Hmm. So, you're going to leave the castle? Yes, yes, leave the castle. Goodbye, Deet. Goodbye. Okay, she's lonely. She doesn't want to be separated from Deet after they started getting along like they did. No, screw Deet. Kick him out. <laughs> He's surprised that she's so... Well, like she is. Yeah. Alright, Fia, you're a goddess. You can't go getting worried about one little person after another. And anyway, a certain half-elf would get jealous. <clears throat> Avaro chimes in that he's not going to get particularly well jealous of an old man like him. Alright, so even gods, if they're lonely, they're lonely. Since we made such a good connection with him and he goes far away, of course she's going to be lonely. Bleh. But, we've got to support you. Ha! Good! So, 
So she doesn't want to be a goddess who acts all selfish at times like this. So when it's time for him to leave, be sure to tell us so we can have a party for you. So you are to go. <laughs> well, even if she goes so far as to say all that, he doesn't feel like leaving. So, don't get all worked up on your own there. Well, what the hell, Deed? Why didn't you say so earlier? Getting my hopes up. So, you staying in the castle? Well, yes. Even though he is who he is, the castle has already become his best place. Uh, to quote some old anime. So, this place that Fia and Avaro have built up has become his new home. Bleh. Don't get all sentimental on us. And even while he stays on the castle, he can continue the work of his vanguard. So, yeah. Yep, that's how it works out. There's still a lot of traveling going on, and there are lots of people coming in and out, so he can still keep working. And his wife's pregnant. He doesn't want to be dragging her along on long-range things in the carriage. Now, he kind of says this as an aside, so it's a, so some of the party might have missed it. One of those casual statements that actually was really important. I may not be able to convey it like that, but he said it kind of <laughs> casually. <laughs> oh, your wife? Really? Hey, how nice. That means the second one is going to be born in the castle. Right. So, due to our body and all, she, he's going to be staying, well, they are going to be staying in the castle for a while. And for that purpose, he wants Fia and everybody to keep the castle up for a while. Now, what's he mean by that? Now, of course, they're going to help with the childbirth and stuff. More clarification. It's not just until the child is born, or when the child is born, but also after the child is born. Uh, really. So, if they did the wandering about with the vanguard thing, you can meet a lot of people, but you don't get a lot of deep friendships that way. Well, yes. Avaro was with the vanguard for a while, and he had that experience as well. Deedhelm here chose this path where he would be on a mobile workshop and he has no regrets about that. But the child that's going to be born he doesn't want to subject him to that kind of a environment, well, unilaterally. So he's thought about it. Yeah, 
一つの町ごと移動しているようなもんだからな。So he's thinking that the castle is actually a better place to raise the child. They'll also get to meet a lot of people in their travels, but since they're traveling with such a large group of people, he also gets to form those deeper friendships. In other words, staying on the castle, they get to keep his work and provide a better environment for the child. So you're thinking to give the child better options in his future, huh? Yep. あとを継いで単漁師になるってんならそれでもいい。だが、城塞で育って、もっと自分に合った道を見つけられるなら、その方が、俺様も嬉しいのさ。Right. So, if the kid took after Diethelm here and became an engineer himself, that would be nice. But to be raised in the castle and choose a path that Suits them better would make him even happier. Waza was a or some other thing I don't snack to more. Joe Saiga cut the yatari or martyrunda. Conanimo say taking a bash on net the cotodana. So that means that this is pretty much the ideal situation. They get to continue wandering around and doing his work. But Even doing so, it won't deprive the child. How nice! That means that the kid will also be here to live in the castle. How nice! Yay! So, Deedhelm 2. At the very least, wants to help Fia get to her objective. So, as of now, he's not going to leave. Happy? <laughs> right. So, for Deethelm's kids, let's make a good place for them to grow up in. Yay. <laughs> Well, Deedhelm's looking forward to it. And furthermore, you guys should have some kids to play with his. Ah, geez, that's too direct. You're getting ahead of yourself, father in law. Jeez. This conversation got my hopes up that we'd be seeing Deet leave, and now it's gotten to this again. Oh, anyway. Navarro. Look, he's not my dad, remember? He just likes teasing people. Say, are Deethelm's, are Navarro's parents ever going to come into the scene? I mean, one's an elf and one's a human, I guess, but. It seems like they would be important if they were still alive. Anyway, blah blah blah. So, he's going to stay with us and... I've always actually a little bit happy to be able to pay Deethelm back a bit. Mm. Looks like I already did that. Oh... I made a shopping list actually. Is there something else? Uh, if there was something else, I didn't write it down. So, I've mentioned before, I don't get a lot of stone. So I went and bought a whole bunch of various kinds of stone.
Oh, a church. A tavern. A fountain. They all needed various high quality stones. Fence tiles blue, fence tiles yellow. Yes. I'm only going to make good use of those. And I also bought some stone for regular houses. Well, good houses. I already have a bunch of small houses. Yes. And did I do this all right? No, not just yet. Yes. So I made yellow houses, taking up all the rest of my yellow liquid. But I was still able to make one of the large fatigue drinks. Not that I use a lot of fatigue drinks anyway. Yes. I also made blue houses. Anyway, we made a fountain! So, little by little, the castle's getting a bit higher class here. Look, a guest. Oh, look at that. Water's coming out. Can we drink this? Uh, there probably wouldn't be a big problem, but we do have drinking fountains, so you should probably use those. And the water from the wells are properly pure, so stick to that. The girl still kind of look at, looks at him with a puzzled expression. Maybe it's best that I put down a warning at this thing. It, out of first glance, it is kind of like a well to most people. So, he's going to put down a sign that says, This fountain is not for drinking purposes. Well, he's thinking about it. It's a bit ambiguous as to whether he chooses to do that or not. Next, we built a church. Well, with this, it'll help out Fia a little bit. Well, if this ain't here, it ain't a town. Well, let's hurry up and say a prayer. God, let us today be safe and sound again. Yay. Eh, God, huh? If it's this area of the world, they're probably play praying to Fuchsia. Hmm, come to think of it, he's saying to himself. She is also a goddess, isn't she? So that ah, Hmm, yeah, that's right. She moves the castle and protects the people, so let's pray to Fia too. So they're kind of half believing and half doubting, but little by little they're getting to be believe in Fia there. As her apostle, Navarro is very happy to hear this. Yay for everybody. Alright, we have made a tavern. So we didn't have one up to now, but it's been fairly well requested among certain townsfolk. Oh, Ah, oh, finally we've got one of these places. Thanks! Since it's here, let's have a banquet this very evening. Okay, I'm glad you're going to enjoy it. And as expected, a place like this tends to gather a lot of people, huh? Winnevaro was wandering countries before finding the castle. He actually traveled to a lot of taverns himself. So, as commemoration for this, today we get everybody into a big old banquet again. They'll use pretty much any excuse, won't they? So... We built a bunch of buildings, so let's get to it.
Hmm. I pretty well set what I wanted to do in my test run. So this gives me even more accuracy and ice resistance for all of my characters. How good's our accuracy? Plus 16%. Pretty good. Let's pull this out. And a fenced yellow house gives us the earth resistance for all of our party. Which is pretty kick-ass. What else did I change? Actually, I think that was it. I'm looking forward to making more red houses. But that's going to require a red liquid, which is kind of hard to come by. So... Yeah, I think I'll call it a video for now. What I get to do now is go back to more free maps and gather materials for whatever I want to build. And I'm going to enjoy that in its own way, but there's not much to show you until I actually get the buildings built. So without further ado, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.